Recording in progress. Okay, ahora sí, estamos recording. Thank you very much for your patience, okay? Excellent. So, bueno, les estaba preguntando, chicos, eh, if you remember, uh, uno de los temas que ha sido como más difíciles for you, que no les haya quedado, like, completely clear, or eh, if you have questions about that. ¿Se le viene a la mente any topic? Remember, before going to intermediate, any topic that you consider, um, remember? Oh, oh, teacher, one. teacher. Okay. Yes, tell me. One more. For me, the last topic. Okay. So present perfect and simple pass. Okay. 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 Present perfect and simple past. No problem. Ahorita we will actually go and check this one. Um, so let's see here. Let me see if you can you can see my screen. Okay. Well, in the meantime, let me tell you. So let's just start with the present perfect. Remember, um, the present perfect, it's to talk about experiences you have had. ¿A qué me refiero con experiences? Es decir, cosas que ustedes han hecho, things that you have eh, done, right? So, like, for example, um, let's say this one. Let's use the chat. Let's use the chat and tell me. How do you say in English, yo he ido a la playa? How do you say that in English? On the chat, please. Use the chat to tell me. How do you say, yo he ido a la playa? Hmm. Let's see the chat. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't remember that? I have gone to the beach. There you go. Exactly. I have gone to the beach. So that demonstrates that you have had an experience. And that's how you use the present perfect. Talking about, um, you know, experiences you have had. So you have to use two auxiliaries. The first one is have and the second one is has. You are going to use have with the auxiliaries, I, with the subjects, sorry. I, you, we, they, and uh, you are going to use has <laughs> with he, she, and it, which is the third person. And that's how you actually use it. The structure, it's the following. It will be here, just like, for example, saying the subject plus, let's see here, have or has, then plus the verb in past participle, plus a complement. So that you have the uh, the structure, right? So it would be the subject plus the auxiliary has or have. Oh, I'm sorry. I had to make a correction there. It's have or has, right? The verb in past participle, the complement, and there we have a sentence in the present perfect. Veamos, revisemos esos verbos in past participle. Um, how do you say comido in English? Eating. Eating, very good. How do you say, for example, eh, visitado? Visited. Visited, very good. How do you say jugado? Played. All right, Played. excellent. Played. Remember, play it. It's como like you write it, como se escribe, right? But, um, you know, it's the pronunciation, it's played. All right. So let's see. Now tell me, eh, how would you say, for example, um, mi hermano ha visitado, o oh, perdón, mi hermano ha viajado a México. How do you say that? Mm -hmm. My brother has traveled to Mexico. My brother has traveled, has traveled to, to Mexico. Mexico. Exactly. That's how you say it. Exactly. Thank you, Mundo, and thank you um, for sharing that. So my brother has traveled to Mexico. There you go. Now, what is going to be the difference between 
the present perfect and the simple past. So let me just tell you this one. It's going to be very simple. So the simple uh, past is to talk about activities that already happened. Cosas que ya pasaron, right? So in the present perfect is just to talk about the experience. No more, all right? De hecho, esos grammar tenses, in fact, those grammar tenses are um, normally used together. Siempre se usa juntos, right? Why? Because, for example, if I ask you a question like this one, have you ever traveled to United States? Okay, look at the question in the chat. It says right there, have you ever traveled to United States? Um, you have two possible answers. Si usted me responde, like in a positive way, so it will be, yes, I have. Or negative will be, no, I haven't. Very good. Thank you, Mundo. That's exactly the negative way. All right. But what happens, for example, after I say yes or no? So it will be, for example, the following. Si usted me dice, yes, I have. Hay una experiencia que existe. There is an experience. And then we switch to simple past. Right? So we start talking about the simple past. Right? So, for example, yes, I have. I remember I went to United States two years ago. And then we go on this one. It says right there, as you can see in the answer, empezamos con present perfect. It says, yes, I have. Then I remember I went to United States two years ago. La sentence o la oración sentence there, I went to United States two years ago. Nos dice, eso es simple past, you know, to, to complement the idea using the present perfect and the simple past right here. Okay. Para los que me dijeron, for the people who told me that you have questions with the present perfect, is this clear or do you need more examples? Mm -hmm. O hacemos un exercise. Así vamos a ver, vamos a hacer un test, actually. Yes, a test to see if you uh, remember this one here. Okay, so let's see. Let's see, let's see. The present perfect exercise. Okay, you will see right now. Let me just share the screen. So you can see this one here. Okay, one second here. Okay, share screen. I'm gonna get this one. All right. Let me know if you can see the screen, please. Confirm it. Yeah, can you see it? Is it a yes? Yes, yes. Awesome. All right, excellent. Let's just create these sentences right here. Vamos a ver las like structures in present uh, perfect. This is mixed. O sea, it means include positive, negative, and questions. So we will say this one. Let me actually zoom in, in so you can see this in a better way. Oops. I'm sorry. Where did it go? Oh, here it is. You know, computers playing with me here, huh? Okay, excellent. So we'll go to this one. And let's see, now it's better, right? So you can see this in a better way. So let's go on this one right here. We have to create the sentence using the vocabulary you have right there. This is the subject. This is the verb in the base form. And this is the complement here, right? So all this, it's the complement. So let's use it right now. So what will be here? Who can tell me what's going to be my first sentence here? What's the answer for this one? Mm -hmm. You have kept a pet for three years. Very good. You have kept, which is kept. as possible. You have kept a pet 
For three years. For three years. Let's see if this is correct so we can check it. All right. Yeah, you were right. The website says the answer is correct. So now, Edmundo, do me a favor. All right. So pick someone else. Choose someone else. So. Okay. Who was it? Who was the next person, Edmundo? Uh, you 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 eaten Thai food before? Oh no, Edmundo! Thank you. Do me a favor. Select the next person, please. But I can ah, I can. Mister Arrasaval. Okay. Mister, Mister. <laughs> Hello, hello. Another person, another person. Okay. Uh, Mr. Oya. Mr. Oya. It's a question, remember, that when it is a question, the auxiliary, it's first. El auxiliary va primero. Another person. Perhaps should, should you eat? Okay, I'm yeah. sorry, Mr. Oya, I couldn't hear you. One more time. Una vez más, please. The, the microphone, Mr. Oya, the microphone. I know. Es la cuestión, es la correct. pregunta. Teacher. Correct, correct. Tendría que comenzar con do. No, porque do, estamos do. en present perfect, entonces sería con have or has. Identifiquemos cuál es el auxiliar, cuál es el um, sujeto aquí, sería. You. It's have. It's have. Correct. It's it's have. Have. Have, have, you. Have, have, have you. Have you. Have you. Have you. Eat. 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 Así. Eat. No. Eat. Thai beef. Eat. All right. El verbo así como lo he escrito, así like the way I wrote it, it's okay? Así como. Eating. Es... Eaten, very good. Have you eaten? And then with the comfort. Food before. Food. That food before. Before. And then the question mark. Vamos a ver. That's, That's correct. Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Oja, please select someone else, a different person, please. Mr. Wilbert. Mr. Wilbur, okay, Mr. Wilbur. Another question, look. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Wilbur is thinking right now. It's a... Uh, it's... Um, they write al la 3, ¿verdad? Number 3. Mm. Ya ven, por eso los por eso los cogemos así para ver están poniendo atención. <laughs> All right, so let's see. No se preocupe, Mr. Wilbur. Vamos a explain this again. Déjeme aquí le busco like uh, an image here, All right? So this is something we can find online as well, All right? So I will show you right here. This is, you know, what I love from Google because Google has all the answers, right? Let's see here. This one, this is what I wanted to see, what I wanted to see, right? Take a look to this section right here, you know? Here, 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 right, good. Those are the auxiliaries. Do you see the auxiliaries? ¿Ven los auxiliares ahí que estoy encerrando? 
or not. Okay, let's do something right here. Let me just make it bigger so you can see it. Oh, what happens? Here it is. Okay, yeah, this is better. Okay, exactly. Bye, right, Mr. Wilbur. Um, those are the auxiliaries. Son los auxiliares que vamos a utilizar. Como estamos en questions, lo venimos aquí abajo donde dice question. Primero tenemos have or has. En el ejercicio, here, número tres, tenemos este sujeto, it. Acá, es donde está el it? ¿Arriba o abajo? Abajo. Muy bien. Entonces, para los usuarios que están abajo, what will be the auxiliary? Has, correct. Right. Okay, so then we have the auxiliary. So we go for has, and then what is next in the structure? Is the auxiliary, is, and then? Is it. It's, pardon, it. It, excellent. It, and then it says here, the bear in past participle. Okay, so what's the past participle of rain, people? Vamos a ver si nos ayudan ahí. Rain? Rain. Rain. You all know, day. Rain all day. Oops. Let's see. Now let's just verify if this is correct. Yes, it's correct right here. Very good. Okay, so we have more questions. Busquemos uno negativo. Ah, aquí está, a negative one. All right. Who is going to be the next person? Ahora sí, un volunteer. Volunteer, volunteer. ¿Por qué no los escojamos? Un volunteer. ¿Alguien volunteer? Volunteer, volunteer for the negative? Hello, hello. Un volunteer, volunteer. Cedillo, démosle. Okay, Mr. Uh, Francisco, right? Cedillos. Oh, <laughs> all right. Veamos dónde está. No está. Va, good. I know what we're going to do. Vamos a ver cuántos verbos se saben en past participle right here. All right. So let's see. Vamos, usemos el chat, el chat, el chat, el chat. Vamos a ver ahorita el chat. All right. Um, le voy a decir tres verbos y el último que me escriba cómo se escriben en, third, en, en past participle. A eso vamos a escoger. Vamos a ver. Primer verbo. Um, drive. Drive, 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 and then go, and then do. Ahí están los verbos. En past parsi, por los tres verbos, el último que lo escriba pasa. Veamos, veamos. Drive, go, do. Drive, go, do. In past parsi, por let's see, let's see, let's see. All right. Gone. Done. Excellent. Thank you, Edmundo. Va, ahí podemos copiar. <laughs> All right. So you can actually cheat on that one. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. So let's see. Very good, Maria. All right, so let's see who else, who else, who else? Hey, I have like 21 people here in the class. Ever, Enrique, very good. Excellent, Juan Francisco, very good. Let's see. Ah, le faltaba uno, was missing one. All right, so let's see. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And the rest, let's see. Where is it? Adam, Carlos Alberto, Cecia, David, Enrique, Ever, Erica, Herbert, Jose Milcar. Mm -hmm. Where is everybody? You can only see here. Okay. Well, 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 well. De los que participamos, Juan Francisco was the last one, <laughs> right? So let's see. Well, Mr. Francisco, tell me what's the answer for the number five? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Estoy, 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 estoy
All right. Rhythm. Woo! ¿Qué se dónde salió, Rhythm? <laughs> A ver, empecemos, Mr. Eh, Francisco. ¿Con qué empezamos en la oración aquí? La number five. Veamos la structure. Ok, si es negative, empezamos con uno de los sujetos. All right, esta es negative, porque aquí dice not. Ok, entonces acá buscamos la negative structure. Y nuestra negative structure here dice que empezamos con, we start with the subject. All right. As you can see here, we start with the, the yeah, wait. subject. Wait. Mm -hmm. So it will be we, right? We. Yeah, so the subject, so we have here, we. Very good, excellent. We. Then we go on this one. Oops, here we go. So we have we, and then what is the negative? See, yes, we, that will be here. We have, we haven't. Haven't, exactly, very good. So we go for haven't. And what is the past participle of the bird here? Here. Mm -hmm. It will be her. Oops. Let's see here. Her, that song. A song before. Be very good. All right, excellent. Which is this one. All right, excellent. In, remember, right? So now that we have the sentence right here, eso sería como nosotros no habíamos, oh, perdón, no hemos oh. escuchado oh. esa oh. canción oh. antes, all right? That's actually how it works. Then, people, this is going to be actually very helpful. Well, uh, I'm going to share this um, image, this, yeah, this image to the uh, chat so you can download it and keep it there, all right? Excellent. Miren, ahí les queda en el chat. Para que ustedes recuerden la structure y también les voy a dejar aquí el exercise para que ustedes puedan practicar later. Y se puedan ir apoyando ahí de la imagen y el link del exercise. Ok. So ahí les queda. Este, you have WhatsApp group, right? Yes or no? Do you have a WhatsApp group? Yes, ok, excelente. So maybe alguien me puede hacer ahí el favor de copiar la imagen en, y el link para que les queden en su grupo, right? Para que when, when, you, when we finish the class no desaparezca, right? It doesn't disappear. All right, excellent. Very good. Ese es uno de los temas que ustedes me pidieron, el, el um, present perfect, right? Which is this one. Remember to say we have uh, had experiences before, right? So... Vamos a ver una last question right here. How, you, how do you say yo he visto esa película? How do you say yo he visto esa película? You can participate I've, on the I've, chat too. I've, I've seen that movie. All right. You can say seen, right? But it's more common to have the bird watch that movie. Edmundo, your example was correct. You can also say seen, all right? But it's more common to say watched when we talk about movies or videos or things like that. Pero también a veces se puede usar seen, all right? Good, excellent. Bueno, ese era uno de los topics, all right? So I don't know if you have questions, more questions about present perfect. Mm -hmm. People, questions about present perfect? For me, no question. Okay, no problem. Eh, Muchas questions. Excuse me? No more questions? 
Ok, no problem. Entonces ahora me dicen ustedes if you have questions about other topics o empiezo yo con los que nos quedan pending here. Porque aquí tengo la lista de los topics. Um, vamos a ver. Tenemos acá que empezamos con los frequency adverbs. Do you remember the frequency adverbs? Yeah, to say like how often. Remember this? How often do you? Okay. What about that topic? Are we clear in this one? Or do you need some explanation of this one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, well, let's just review them quickly. All right. So then we can move forward with some examples right here. Okay. So let's see. Let's just share this one. Let me just show you this, ladies and gentlemen, right here. I'm gonna share a new image so you can see this. Okay, let's see. Let me know if you can see the new screen. Do you see it? Yes, teacher. Awesome. All right. So on this one, it's actually very simple, right? It, it goes like this one, and it's just about like the frequency of saying how often do you something right here. So remember that like the one from the 100%, el que lo más hacemos siempre será always, right? And that will be like the 100% of the time. So then you go on the next one right here. So for example, people, what is something that you always do, for example? Can you tell me examples of what you always do? So for example, I always take a shower, right? What about you? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. I always, I am in the class, English class. Okay, excellent. That was actually good, right? Yo siempre estoy en la clase, sería I am always in the class. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Any other example? Using always? Mm -hmm. I right. always Very happy. good. Uh -huh. Sorry? I am always happy. Okay, very good. She is always happy. Esa siempre feliz, right? So, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Y así vemos, like, modifying this de acuerdo a qué tan eh, frecuentemente o how often you actually do an activity. Vamos a saltarnos un par de ellos aquí. Vamos a la mitad, al sometimes, all right? Algo que a veces hacen sometimes, 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 all right? For example, I sometimes go to the park I like this one I sometimes go to the park and you tell me what is something that you do sometimes I am sometimes it's uh, pupusas okay excellent very good that's it for an example Wilbur that was actually good just remember something, right? El I am no siempre va a ser parte de la estructura, right? So, why? Solo vamos a usar el I am cuando yo quiera decir yo soy o yo estoy, all right? So, for example, hace poquito nos dijo la compañera ahí, yo siempre estoy feliz. Entonces, ahí se aplica el I am always happy, for example, all right? En este caso, eh, entendí, like, the topic is, I mean, the example was eat pupusas, right? Okay, in this case, in that case, you are not going to say I am, but we are going to say mm -hmm. I sometimes eat pupusas. Can you repeat it, Wilbur? Yeah, teacher. Okay, repeat it, please. Repeat. I sometimes mm -hmm. eat pupusas. Perfect. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Super good. Super good. 
right? Vamos a saltarnos más, más, más this one and we go to the last one, which is like never, 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 right? Which is like 0%. Algo que nunca hacemos. I will give you an example, which is also a secret, all right? So, I never go to the gym. <laughs> all right, so... I never go to the gym. All right, so, and you? Me too, teacher. <laughs> All right, so very good. So, Cecia, no gym? Never. Oh my goodness. All right, excellent. Hey, I have a question for everybody. ¿Qué significa me too? Oh, what's the meaning of me too? Yo también. Yo también. All right, excellent. O también yo. That's correct. All right, so, and now let me ask you this in Spanish. Si yo te digo en Spanish, yo nunca voy al gimnasio, y tú me respondes, yo también, does it sound correct? No suena correcto. Mm -hmm. So, in English, we have also a phrase to say, yo tampoco, which is like correct phrase, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so which is me neither. Me neither. Neither. Repeat the pronunciation, teacher. Me neither. Neither. Neither, correct. Neither. Thank exactly. You. All right. Entonces, cuando queramos mostrar, like, for example, eh, como acuerdo en algo negativo, so vamos a usar el me neither. Pero, like, if we try to say something in a positive way, I see why well, me too. For example, says, imagine that que si vamos al gym, right? Te digo, I always go to the gym. Entonces tú me dices, yo también. So that would be? <laughs> me too. Me too. All right, exactly. Me neither. Me, me too, yo también. Me neither, yo tampoco. Good job. Excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Thank you. So let's see here. Any uh, question about the frequency adverse? Super easy topic, right? Super, no super easy. Okay, very good. Excellent. Eh, yeah, most of the team. What was the next? No topic? va a regalar la imagen al WhatsApp. Oh, sure. No problem. Well, uh, WhatsApp, Please, I WhatsApp. I'm not in the WhatsApp group, pero tal vez alguien me puede ayudar ahí, like take a picture and send it to the group. Yeah, ya, ya, ya la puse ahí, compañera. All right, thank you. Thank you, compañero. <laughs> excellent. Okay, excellent. Good One job. Of that is actually difficult sometimes is el there is el there are do you remember that yes or no there is and there are uh -huh. do you remember that topic or it's actually something different i mean something new for you Ya vamos a poner un par de exercises ahí. All right, so let's see this one. Okay, take a look at this one. This is the one I was talking about. Take a look, right? Which is just like this one. There is and there are. Do you see that? Do you see the image? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. So that's actually one of the topics that you have reviewed during this course, right? En este curso han visto también este tema, the watch actually very easy. There is and there are. Um, all right, so, you know, que hay una diferencia, pero también hay una similitud. There is a difference, but they have something in common. Do you know what is the difference? And do you know what it's in common with those two expressions? There is and there are. Singular. Plural. Singular and plural, that's a difference, that's correct. ¿Y en qué se parecen? El there. En el there, all right, excellent. All right, excellent, excellent. So, well, you're right, se parecen en el there, all right. So, pero también se parecen en el significado. ¿Ya lo vieron ahí en verde? Mm. Mm -hmm. Do you see it? It's here. Yep. Yeah. So it's just like this one. So, yeah, they are 
eh, there is and there are, both of them significan hay. Pero la diferencia, como dijo la compañera, as the classmate said before, it's going to be the plural and the singular, all right? As you can see in the example, eh, we have there is a dog, right? When you're talking about this one right here, you actually have the um, article a, which it means uno, right? And if this one right here, this also means uno as well, right? But the difference here is, voy a usar a, si la siguiente palabra empieza con consonant, I'm going to use n if the next word empieza con una vowel. Esto ya lo sabíamos, right? Yes or yes? Sí. Great. Yes. Awesome. All right, so, entonces, uh, and then we have the plural here, which is going to be R, and then we have to use either a number for plural or the expression sum. All right, so, para ser más específico, podemos usar los números, dos, tres, cuatro, all right, o simplemente lo generalizamos saying sum, and then we use the plural version of the word. All right, so, let's see. Vamos a ver. Uh, how do you say, for example, hay una araña en la mesa? There is a spider on, on the table. That is correct. Very good job. There is a spider on the table. How do you say, hay dos computadoras en la mochila? Mm -hmm. There is two computers ah. en la mochila. Ah. Remember? Backpack. We said... There Hay are dos two computadoras. Very good. Aha. One more time. Sorry. Excuse me. Disculpe me. All right. Excuse me. Go ahead. There are Please. two uh -huh. computers uh -huh. and on the back. There are. Sería ahí mm. in the backpack. All right. ¿Por qué? Porque in the backpack. Dentro de la backpack. Exactly. All right. In the backpack. Very good. Excellent. All right. How are do you say? two computers in the back the backpack yes 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 excellent all right so we are going to have an exercise como no tienen questions for me yo tengo questions for you people aquí vamos a ver no teach perfect no questions yo sí tengo all right so aquí está veamos all right. Excellent. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Excellent. So do you see them? Yes. Very yes. good. Very good. Excellent. So here, basically, we have to be um working. Oops. I minimize it. All right. So working on the there is or there are, as you can see in the instruction. All right. So let's say this one right here, ladies and gentlemen, number one. Yo le puedo dar con a number one here. And it says there, there, and it says 25. So what is the correct answer there? Sería is R. Exactly. It will be R because it says 25 right there. Very good job. Excellent. So it's going to be R. So we put it here, R. Thank you. So what about the number two? What would you for number two? There? There is. Exactly. Very good. So it's going to be like, there is. Excellent. Number three? Mm, there is a big supermarket. There is a big Near supermarket. my house. Exactly. Super good. A letter D. There? R. R. There are. There are. Super good. Two teacher in the room. Okay, excellent. Uh, this one? There are two some on this CD. Very good, excellent. Uh, this one? There is a good film on TV tonight. There is. Oh, there. Ooh, exactly. So you're super mm -hmm. good on this one, people. Uh, what about the letter G? The, there, there are... Is. There is his friends. <laughs> Vamos a ver. There is or there are. ¿Qué dicen? ¿Qué dicen? Is. Yo digo que votemos. ¿Qué les parece si votamos? <laughs> Everything is Al suelo. 
<ríe> Excel. Vamos a crear There una are, de encuestas. There so are his friends. Exactly. Are. Because it says here. Look. It says here. Sorry. <laughs> friends. In plural. Like this one. You see? Yes. So those yes, are, teacher. are. Very good. And the last one. Okay. Eh, vamos a ver here. We can move it a little bit. There is your mobile phone. There is your mobile phone. All right, excellent. So you got it this correctly. Super good. Okay, so no more um questions about this topic. It was easy, yes or no? Okay, okay, okay. Ahora si viene un topic, un topic, un topic, que también es a little bit confusing. Y lo quería traer ahora en el repaso, que son los quantifiers. ¿Se remember que son los quantifiers? Or not? Hmm? No, there's a silence. Don't worry. It's actually easier. Pero ¿qué pasa si yo le digo el how much y el how many? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Ah, easy to remember. Okay, Sin perfect. Pues ese tema se llama quantifiers, ¿verdad? Para hacer... Quantify. Eh, Sin contact. Exactly. Ahí lo tenemos. All right. En pantalla ahorita tenemos, you know, cuál es la diferencia en el much y el many. All right. So remember that much is for the uncountable nouns and then for many for the countable nouns. That's actually eh, the difference right here. So cosas que se puedan contar y cosas que no se puedan contar. Vamos a ver si if you remember this one. Can you give me examples of uncountable uh, nouns, people. No pueden dar examples of uncountable nouns. Uncountable, uncountable, uncountable. Hello, hello. Uncountable nouns. ¿Qué serían examples de uncountable nouns ahí? Um, drink. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ese es un verbo. ¿Qué es el verbo de ver? Water. Ajá, pero la water, yes. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Water, water. Very good. Then you cannot say, for example, uh, un agua, dos aguas, como nosotros, perhaps lo decimos in Spanish, right? In English sería un vaso de agua, Sun. et cetera, right? So a glass of water, a bottle of water, a liter of water, et cetera, right? So, and then uh, we have the next one right here, which is how many? Uh, can you give an example of countable nouns? Countable, countable, countable? Tortillas. Which will be uncountable? <laughs> Tortillas, pupusas. Oh, pupusas. Yes. yes, 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 yes. Pupusas, that you are right. Right, 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 right. So it goes this one. Okay, excellent. <laughs> How do you say, for example, um, cuantas, eh, cuantas pupusas tu comes? How, how do you say that uh, question? How many, ah. how many pupusas do you eat? Exactly. Do you okay, eat? <laughs> Edmundo, let me ask you that question to you. How many pupusas do you eat? Ten. Uh -huh. Edmundo, how many pupusas do you eat? Four. I eat four I pupusas. Eat, uh, many, many pupusas. Many. <laughs> Kevin, many. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> So let's see. I eat four pupusas. Four pupusas. Okay, excellent. That's actually nice. Interesting. Okay, very good. So just to finish with this one, we're going to like go with, uh, you know, sure. Four extras. pupusas and no gym. <laughs> <laughs> good. Okay, okay, okay. Good combination. I was thinking <laughs> about the same thing. All right. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Vamos a tener aquí un, you know, short exercise, pequeñísimo exercise, porque esto ya se lo pueden ustedes. All right, so let me project it right now so you can see it. Okay. Do you see it? Let me know when you see it. Yes? 
Yes. Excellent. So oh I'm going to you on tres. I helped you with oh. three of them, all right? Which is his questions. How much and how many, right? So you can see this one, how much work, because work is algo incontable, right? This one right here is something I cannot count. How many men, because men is a plural de, de que es plural esto? Man. Man, very good, excellent. And then we have many days because it is in plural here. You can see the S at the end. But what about number four? What about number four? Number four, it's supposed to be there. How many? How, How many, many brothers, brothers? Sister, did he have? Did he How have? many brothers? All right. How many brothers? Excellent. What about number five? How many? How Smiling. many miles? Exactly. How many miles? There we go. And then what about the next one? Number six. How much? All right, it's gonna be like how much? Why is how much? Beauty. No tanto. It's beauty, it's la belleza, right? So and then uh number seven. ¿Qué number tanta seven belleza is, es lo como... ¿Qué es number how seven. Much how much snow. Snow. It's much, snow. exactly. Porque la nieve, it's kind of difficult to count here. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, do you have questions about this topic? No, teacher. No, no, no. Teacher, can, can you show the, the, the sentence in number seven complete? Excuse me, a... number seven? Yes. Uh, can you show the complete? Uh, uh, what how should uh, means? What does how should mean? How should? Okay, let me verify here. Okay, I like it. Okay, let me just open it again. All right, give me one oh, quick second. Shut a bit. Okay, you said you said number seven, right? Number seven. Ow, oh, hawk's head of it. All right. So this one, it's going to be here. They wore hawk's head. It's the same as. Let me just take this one right here. Okay, number seven, here is, how much snow could you melt in an hour? It says, if you were planted in a hawk's head. All right, the word hawk's head, it means pipa, right? But it also has different meanings. You know, in a pipa, yes, hawk's head. But it has actually a different meaning here. Hawk's head. One second. I will just show you here. Pero ya van a ver. Hawk's head. I'll show you a picture so you can understand this better. Mm -hmm. You know, camos esas esas pipas, you know, que son como la la esta madera que parece un barrilito, you know? Son de esas, pero viene de que también significa la palabra barril, de esos barriles de madera de los antiguos. I'll show you. Tonel. Mm -hmm. Like this one. Ton tonel. Mm -hmm. Right that. Barrel. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. So, do you have any other question about the exercise? Is there una otra palabra or uh, about the topics that we have reviewed? No more questions? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm just going to finish with one more. Uno de los últimos, that's the last topic for the review, and then I will let you go, all right? So, which is sings versus four. Do you remember that? Sings and four? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you can yeah. ask me. Very good. So I will just show you this one right here. Okay. Okay, here is another image that I have for you, the four and scenes, right? Tiene mucha explicación, examples of this one, but it's gonna be very easy, people. It's not that complicated. So the difference between four and scenes right here. So four, it's used um, with a period of time, 
right? In a number or a time word. So decir siempre va acompañada de un periodo de tiempo o de un número y una palabra de tiempo. What is a time word? Que es una palabra de tiempo. So month, day, week, etc. Right? So eh, in this one, when we try to measure the duration of something or how long it lasts, it has a start point and an end point. So it can be used in different tenses. Puede ser utilizado esto en cualquier tiempo gramatical. All right, so and tenemos ahí unos examples aquí en blue that says like, for example, for 10 minutes, for eight minutes, um, for five days, for six months, all right? Vamos a ver, combinando los temas que hemos visto hoy. How do you say, for example, yo he estudiado inglés por cuatro meses? Uh -huh. How do you say, yo he estudiado inglés por cuatro meses? I studied English for four months. That is correct. Thank you, Mundo. That was actually correct. All right. So, and eh, usando el mismo example que acabamos de ocupar, de esta, o sea, he estado he estudiado inglés por dos, por cuatro meses, we are going to go to scenes. What will be the difference in scenes? Que con scenes estamos hablando de un starting point, right? de un punto de inicio. Right? When something is starting in the past and continues until now. Usamos un um, a time, a specific time, or una fecha específica, or date, all right? So, for example, eh, usando el mismo eh, example that I said, I said before, la misma oración que usé antes, right? It could have been, for example, dijimos en el anterior, yo he estudiado por cuatro meses. Ahí sería, I have studied for four months. ¿Hace cuánto tiempo o qué fecha sería hace cuatro meses? Veamos, estamos en septiembre, it was like August, July, June, May. Sería mayo, right? May. So, ¿cómo se dice entonces? Yo estudio inglés desde, yo he estudiado inglés desde mayo. ¿Cómo hmm? do you say that? I, I study English since May. Since May, exactly. All right. So, en, cuando usamos since, no usamos una time expression. Simplemente hablamos de la fecha de inicio o del momento de inicio, right? That's it. Cuando usamos for, usamos un periodo de tiempo. 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 1 week, 2 days, etc. Right? So it's just like that one. So for example, veamos here. Um, let me just verify something here quickly. So let's see. Um, let's see. Or, oh, for example, how do you say yo he trabajado aquí desde el 2005. How do you say that? Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Any idea? Okay, you're very shy, all right? So, that will be, ah, you're translating, estamos traduciéndolo. <laughs> all right, so, let's see. How do you say yo he trabajado aquí desde el 2005? I have worked here since 2005. There you go. There is when you use things. There you go. Exactly. Well, guys, uh, we are going to stop right here, right? So uh, remember to complete your, um, your work in the platform, right? Uh, it's important because it's the last day of classes, so you can actually have todo listo ya para el siguiente nivel, right? Así que, uh, I actually thank you very much for your patience, right? I thank you very much for understanding at the beginning of the class, all right? And I wish you have a good night, ladies and gentlemen. Have a good night, all right? So it was a pleasure to meet you, everybody, all right? So nos vemos en otro nivel. See you in a different level. Thank you for your time. Any Good questions, night. feel free to ask.
Have a good night, everybody. Good night. Take care. Good night, good night, good night, good night. Take care. Remember to complete all your homework. Yes. All right. Bye bye. Take care. Ellen Nilsson, Enrique, Erica, Franklin, Herbert, Monica, Santos, Saul. Do you have no. any question? No. Present. Franklin, present. Good night. All right. Excellent. Thank you. And thank you very much. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Take care.